All right. But we'll see. We got some better daggers. Bow hasn't really changed. But, you know. It's all right. Frosty sword. Mmm. So let's see. That's doing a smidge. But combined, if we get a sneak attack with our Dwarven Dagger and Orcish Dagger of Harvesting, there's possibilities there. Nightingale Blade, absorb some health and stamina per second. You know, not bad. All right, let's see if we can parkour this. Okay, well, almost. Okay. Come on. Nope, nope. Not now, courier. <laughs> Might have been a courier. Yes, it is. Okay, what do you want? I've been looking for you. <laughs> Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. It's about your car's extended warranty. Let's see here. A note from someone named Calselmo in Markarth. Looks like that's <laughs> it. Got to go. I know it was you. <laughs> I think that's basically the gist of it, if I remember correctly. Bring a dwarven, dwarven dagger. Ah. Seems you have uh, recently acquired a certain dwarven dagger from the Ragged Flagon. Not sure how such an object came to find itself resting there, but blah, blah, blah. I'll pay you handsomely for a dwarven dagger. Hmm. I think Chilren would be a fine addition. That could be. That very well could be. Hope. All right, let's back to this. Can't be bothered. Exactly. Use the corner here to kind of make my way up. We'll slide a little bit. Hey, how's it going? Don't mind me. All right. Where are you going? No damage. No damage. But we might have... Mm. Mm. Sure. We'll, we'll throw some poison on there. Use calm? Eh, we might be able to. But then, of course, once we uh, hit him, then, you know, of we'll some troubles. He'll, he'll still be angry. Poison's working. All right. I'm slipping more than I want to be, though. Oh, bad shot. He'll be calm eventually. Exactly. Oh, bad shot. Because I'm having to move. Sneak up? I mean, we could do that. No, I'm not going to just give up. Never gonna give up. Never gonna let down. <laughs> Try, trying to get a bit more elevation. Using the corner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I almost had it. Basically, using this corner acts as a little walk up for just a bit. And if we can get up to somewhere like here and get flat and try to jump, that's the tricky part. That's the tricky part. <laughs> it's okay, Japo. Okay, yep. A little bit of a jump. All right. We should be somewhat okay with this. Just hold back we do these shots, but we also are moving the whole time. What, maybe three more shots? 
No. There's two. Oh. Oh, I accidentally lobbed it and had to switch out. <laughs> Your kind has a. <laughs> okay. Um, and then we still need to do this bit. Is it up here? Which side is it on? Oh, it's been a minute since I've done this with an arrow. Okay. Yeah, I think I need to be... down a bit. Oh, on the other side. Uh, value-wise, not bad. Not the greatest. You just hit it, right? Well, not exactly. Normally, you shout it. That's one way, but there is a way to actually shoot it down. I thought there was like a like gear or a lever or something, but with it being kind of dark, it's on the bottom. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I thought. stuff back at least there it is okay underside come you there the dawn guard <laughs> is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace what do you say and if I asked you about your car's extended warranty yeah sign me up ha huh. Ezron's going to like you go talk to him at Fort Dawn guard southeast of Ripton You'll decide if you're Don Guard material. Okay. <laughs> they found you. Yes, they did. <laughs> now, if I can maybe get an arrow back. There we go. Get the one from up top. Yep. Okay. Now we do the sneaky sneaks. I don't know how well Calm is going to work here. But it doesn't hurt to try. If we really need it. All right, I'm going to caps lock so I can walk very slowly. We just talked to you. and sneaky. I remember it's the hidden bookcase or there's something about maybe it's another one. Oh, wait, it's downstairs. That's right, that's right. All the Thieves Guild missions are designed to be beaten without killing. That's true. That is true. Okay, I've got an idea for how to do this. That may or may not work. Okay. Quick save. Sort of looked at us, but we're okay. I'll be taking this. Yeah, exactly. Not not penalized for killing here. Exactly. Guy back over there. I was sure I heard something. I heard nothing, and I'm pretty sure he's right behind this door. That's the bookshelf. Okay. Yep. Some shoes? Sure. Mm, oh, yes. I'll take that. Salt pile for our cooking. 
potion, sure. Watching for traps, of course. Like that one. Of course, there's the flame one. So let's go. Yep, we're good. Why does he have an Orgish battle axe down there? That, that would be my question. Why Mercer of all people? Okay. Now my least favorite thing. without stealth roll. Yeah. Yeah, it's no fun. Or, uh, ethereal shout. <laughs> okay, so it's down a bit. Whoosh. Have the first word, but no dragon soul. No dragon soul. Alright. Don't you, or is that main quest? It is. I mean, the first word. Become ethereal. I th oh, don't remember. But the last CR going to made. Yeah, this is the here. Polish my spear. <laughs> but it's huge! To take me all night. Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. <laughs> the kitchen reader increases sneak. Mm. Mercer just leaving his plans behind. Oh. Is it straight up? Almost? Oh, yeah. It's basically all straight up. Nope, nope. Whoosh. Oh. Argu arguably the best sword in the game, really? Hmm, Jabo, that's those are some strong words. Some strong words there. Another squire. Oh, yeah, I forgot about our squire necklace. Yep. And then I got our archery ring. Yep, we're good. Okay, good on that. Paralysis and cold. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Those are some good things to have. Some very good things. Make sure I'm, all I have to do is make my way back. S sneak it as a just in case. If only there were uh, perks for backstabs with swords. That that's my thing. We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? Well, he wasn't there, but I found these plans. Shore's beard. He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? <laughs> exactly. That was Gallus' pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. Well, then we have to stop him. Agreed. 
He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. <laughs> I've spoken to the best books, Ed. The best books. The guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Okay. We meet live. Trinity restored. Okay, I gotta listen to Carlyle. Ugh. All your questions will be answered. You just have to trust me. Not now, lad. Carlyle said it was important. She's right here. Brynjolf, <laughs> time has come to decide Mercer's fate. Until a new guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. I lost, but I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. You have to be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. <laughs> exactly, Congo. Everything I heard in the stories. The nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Rifton, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountain side. At the end of that path is a clear and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. Okay. I have some preparations of my own to make. I'll meet you at the start. Fair enough. I have to uh, go to sleep. Get her a nice eight hours. Give Delvin the bust of the Grey Fox. What do you need? I can't help but think. Some of you people may have been around a little while or went back and watched older stuff. Anytime I hear Grey Fox now, I just, I'm like. Because, you know, Grey Cow Cowl of Nocturnal. Is associated with Grey Fox, obviously, and is also the mod that. Just got lucky, is all. Bumped into someone. Got lots of jobs on. Well, well. If you have the must have come from Mercer's place. You'd admired the Grey Fox for some time. Sure, I'll buy from you. Here you are. Okay. Boom. Find me if you're ever looking for some extra coin. Sure. Yeah. Threw it in the lake, like you said. So let me think. Before we, if you're looking for extra, I give special rates to members of the thieves' guild. Show me what you've got. I want to stock up on some paralysis potions, uh, poisons to be specific. So we're gonna hit up some various, uh, various alchemists and stuff. Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and see what I can sell? That disappointed me. Nobody took up Mantle in Skyrim, a real vigilante amongst the thieves. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. But the mod, uh, Grey Cow of Nocturnal, had so much potential, so much promise. And then there was the ending. Ugh. Still, my the mm, probably the most disappointment I've had playing this game. Probably. If I had to take a guess, sell a few items while we're here. Uh, look, targets have improved combat skills, health, and stamina. I mean, that could come in handy for if we have any companions. Uh, da -da -da. I'm gonna collect any lusty Argonian maid we find, of course. And then, yeah, so, not the Dwimmer stuff. It was hilarious in Oblivion, yeah. The actual, uh, using the Grey Cal, if I remember correctly, yeah. Okay. Immediately chase. <laughs> uh huh. Alright, so, we got a little prep work to do. Because I think this fight with Mercer is going to be, um, I mean, even on Master, it's normally, it normally is a little tricky. 
But I think what I need to do is a bit of prep work uh, in stacking up as much paralysis as we can. And of course, not getting hit by Mercer. That's that's a whole other uh, thing in and of itself. Not the stables. He's no slouch. No, definitely. And Ed, yeah, if you try the mod, like 90% of that mod, ah, Damn those great. Great names to oblivion. They want and then the final bit. Blokes, they'll get what's coming to them. I don't know if it's been updated since way back when, when I played it. But if it hasn't, prepare yourself for disappointment. You? Oh, it's three in the morning. Well, goodness. You gotta wait until next day. All right, Arcade D uh, isn't here. Yeah, don't. Yeah, we haven't learned the paralysis. Uh, but let's definitely make some health ones. Magic, I'm not worried about right now. Fire, no, because all he does is the drains and stuff like that. Did I record my playing of that mod? Oh, yes, I did. Uh, that was what we did in Way of the Thief. That was the series, if I recall correctly. Damage stamina, maybe? All right, enough of that. Pardon me, but do I detect a kid? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Yes. Actually, it's probably going to be a valuable one. If you have it. Hmm. You don't have it. I mean, I could become invisible for a little bit, but I think we already have some of those. Wait, if he put most uh, points in stamina, run away. That's true. Um, but also... Um, in the original Catface series, the Master Assassin, that's basically all we did was put points in the stamina so we could run away. <laughs> See, do you not get vampirism from drain health enchantment? You do not, if I recall correctly. You actually have to contract the Sanguinari Vampiris from a vampire. I'm trying to think. Other alchemists. Oh, come back anytime if you need a remedy. I know exactly where to look. Get cool eyes. Don't play with fire. Exactly. Should be, yeah. Just get all the ingredients that we can from here. Alright. Tint should be good. We'll definitely be coming back here later on when we're playing for me. <laughs> All right, also let's make sure we're up to date on our ingredients as much as we can. Take a okay. look. Okay. Let's see. Poisons. No. Oh, I was hoping you'd sell some paralysis. 
You sell recipes? Yes, you do. <laughs> Briarheart and some swamp fungal pods. Oh, you let me know. A little bit of old. Take a look. You have no briar hearts. And no swamp fungal pods. That's fine. I have urged to Let's see if you have any just sitting around, though. That's just poisons. The <laughs> briar heart. The cheap ingredients. Yeah. Hmm. We're not here. Look at you, up to no good. <laughs> no, we're we're just looking around the shop. That's all. Uh, none of this looks right. Nah. Okay. Um. So we've got one paralysis poison. We can go invisible a couple of times. Like I said, I want to prep for this fight. So... Let's do that. I'll prep... Mm, the plenty of stamina should be enough if we need to run for any reason. Uh, invisibility, just in case, and paralysis. And we'll also use so much a mirror. Never get it all straight. Fear poison may not be bad. Why can't the men in this city leave me alone? That's if... Well, actually, that's a good call. That's a good call. Okay. So I think we got potions and stuff ready. So what I'm thinking, imp stool and canis roots, yeah. Thank you for that. I think we'll use the swords with Mercer. I think that'll be the way to go. The chill rend and the nightingale blade. For some, uh, oh, cheaper for paralyzed, imp stool and canis root. Ah. That is a good call. That's a very good call. Because we actually might. So we got one imp stool. But no. None on the root. Hey, you Google for me. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Mr. Fox. But also... I'm trying to remember, isn't there? Oh, there was the game Street. But I was trying to think. There's. Yeah, stone over here. But it's guarded. I definitely remember that much. By a necromancer. I'm trying to remember which one it is. jump. Alright, where are you at, Necromancer? There you are. What arrows are we rocking? Nords. Okay, good. Alright, let's just wait for them to show themselves. They were right here previously. There you are. Our conjurer adept. Mm. 
Oh, man. I hit the rocks. Collision box thing. Come on. Unfortunately, yeah. Oh, they're hitting it. This is to our advantage quite nicely. Here. Car liar. Oh. Oh, careful. Excuse us. Oh! Well. <sighs> that was fun. <laughs> oh, legendary. You are uh, a treat. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wonder if I just get in and beast it, if that works too. Let's see. So potentially, if we get a backstab. When your astronaut is stronger, yes. <laughs> that awkward move, that, uh oh. <laughs> Save before we get too involved. Okay. See his dumb little face right there. Don't mind us. Just a lowly thief, just sneaking around, that's all. Yeah, wonder what Mercer would do. But just tank it, of course, because that's what the NPCs in this game do on this difficulty. Okay. Nope. It was just a tree. That's all. Do I need a 7-zip something for SKSE? Yes. Yes, you would. I, I recommend 7-zip because uh, it's free. It's better than WinRAR. <laughs> you don't get bothered about a trial. Just for a second. Just not look at me. Oh, Someone that didn't work. Let's see. Become invisible for a period of time. You know. Once a day, become invisible, but we can get that with the nocturne. Well, but we'd have to turn back in the skeleton key. I think. Or no, we get that, then we can leave with the skeleton key. Power of nocturnal. So I don't need the sign for it. Okay. All right. Just had to do a bit of logic thinking kind of stuff there. So we got that. So if I do... How can leave with the key? Yeah. <laughs> Oh! Goodness. Get the perk first, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get the key from Mercer, yep, yep.
And it's up to us to, if we turn it in. Exactly. Oh. Oh, he's going to conjure, isn't he? Actually, I want to do... Yep, yep. Jeez. Okay. Let's just, uh... Maybe not kill him. Since we are oh so weak. Yeah, I am so used to Master where a conjurer or a mage versus some blades of some kind. Just not going to be much of a fight. <laughs> Alright. Let's bring it over here. Let's pick up a Nightingale. Let's at least accomplish that. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Uh, so what's the significance of this place you got here? This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. Oh, uh, what kind of an edge? If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. Alright. This way, please. Forget about that combo. <laughs> so this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place mm -hmm. when I joined the game, but I never believed it existed. Yep, come on, everybody. I'm trying to understand. Okay. I'm no priest. I'm certainly not religious. <laughs> Why pick me? Oh, you get it. Why is she walking? So or is she stuck in the water or something? Let's say I'm Batman. <laughs> Let's activate the armor stone. Boom. All right, got that nightingale goods. So, we now we do some comparisons. Muffled move silently or pickpocket as well. Well, yeah. That. Lock faking is easier. One-handed attacks do 15% more damage. So we get what we get with Thieves Guild plus the one-handed. Illusion spells cost 12% less to cast, which works for us. But then there's the actual armor. Carrying capacity or increased stamina increases frost resistance. I mean, if we're going for fashion, we go with this. But carrying capacity, we'll just have to manage. Boom. There we go. wait for these people or Wakanda forever exactly you are here ready for the oath this is enough to make your head spin eh this is enough to make your head spin eh whoa <laughs> you ready for the oath yeah ready favorite armor yeah it's it's definitely definitely up there uh, Duke, Ayo, Dark Brotherhood, or Thieves Guild. Right now we're doing Thieves Guild. Okay, Orcish, underrated down. armor, as no. far as your looks go. I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brindle. 
Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. I'll back but up this for this. I remember the first time ever becoming Nightingale and you have to guard the Twilight Sepulchre. I thought there was going to be like these invasions on the Twilight Sepulchre that you had to go and attend to and all that. But you don't. <laughs> Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Yep. Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the side. Okay. Snow Elves armor is cat is cool as well. It is. We'll speak when the oath is complete. I think the vampire stuff looks looks good there. too. Let's get this show on the I mean of course your ebony. Is a classic. Daedric stuff is cool. Very metal. I don't know if I've ever seen or made or acquired full glass armor by default. No. But there are mods that can change the color of glass armor. Then, yes, it is cool. There we go. A Power Ranger question mark? Yeah. I know the uh, dragon bone stuff is the other thing, which I don't know if I've ever gotten. I know I've gotten weapons. Ah, Carlia. I was but. wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlia. <laughs> Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in Armor's cool helmet, no. <laughs> you surprise me, Carl. I think it was too heavy. I uh, definitely weighted in my favor. Go a little lighter. Maybe not worth it. I understand, I understand. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Okay. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your avengers and your sentinels. We will honor our agreement to this night and the next until the conditions have been met. Hell, it was not on Very theme well. with the dragon bone at all. I hmm. name your no, initiates. I don't know if I've even seen it. And I restore your status to the I mean, I might have, I just don't remember. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. Are the dragon plate? Helmet. I mean, I can see its appeal. I don't know if this will even show up on camera. It's almost got, like, kind of the, uh... Almost... Got a bit of samurai-ish, ish. You know those kind of horns coming up. It got a little bit of that look. Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Ah, uh, he's done more. Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre, the skeleton key. Mm. By doing this. He's compromised our ties to Nocturnal, and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. So the key unlocks any door? Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. Mm. Well... The guild should possess this item, yeah. Although it would benefit the guild more than you can imagine, in the end it would do more harm than good. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the guild. Oh, it'll... they'll be fine. <laughs> As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Well, first time I've ever set out to return something. 
In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its right. Yes, she is, Jabo. All right, let's go. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen Ugh. to him. Listen, lad. <laughs> There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer, the leadership of the guild. And why tell this to me? Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves Guild. Yeah, well, uh, what about you? <laughs> I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do. Maybe even one of the best. But it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it. Never cared for it. Don't want it. Well, too bad. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental. Anymore. Exactly, Jamo. It's been three days. You want to run this whole place? <laughs> I accept. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. Let's get to it. I've been pouring over the plans you brought us. And I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthan. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Okay. Until next we meet. Lad. Indeed. All right. To Urkenthan we go. Just gotta make our way out of all of this that we never come back to. Such a shame. This would be like a cool place, you know, start renovating. But no. <laughs> That's one thing that irritated me. That's okay. We're, we can be an aiming deal. That's all that matters. Alright, I get that. But, yeah, exactly. Have it as home, but no. Exactly. I wish these guys would go away. I'd like to steal a horse. Why are you looking at me? You can't see me. I'm invisible. I'm talking to you. Go home. Okay. I don't need this for long. It'll come back before you know it. <laughs> All right. Make this travel a smidge easier. Let me save. Oh, stuck. <laughs> Just gotta watch out for wolves. Excuse us, gentlemen. You. You're as good as. <laughs> Courier, take care of him. Might as well pick up the mill along the way because we'll be coming back to it later for one of our Dark Brotherhood contracts. Watch the skies, Traveler, indeed. Yeah, no dragons, which is good. <laughs> I can only imagine if we tried fighting like that first dragon when we're that level where we oh goodness first thing you do leaders kick sapphire yeah like hey we, we build this guild on respect get out <laughs> Just 
slowly but surely making our way. She's got the worst story though. <laughs> Come on up. Skyrim horse physics engage. Don't jump. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I have to remember you're not Shadowmere. So you can't withstand some things. Like the whole falling off cliffs and all that. Oh yeah. This place is full of baddies. Okay. Back to your home. No? Okay, well, you can stay there. Nor through the female version. <laughs> yeah, and see, this on Master, we're, like, by this point, we're one-shotting and stuff like that. And just regular, nope. All right, let's at least try some daggers while we're here. I gotta remember, I'm pretty sure there's a there's like a guy right up here. Pretty sure. But we'll see. Alright, saving again. Finally! Got ourselves a bit of a backstab. But, you know, not really a backstab. But, you know, you get the point. Did he have something else? Okay. Love the late and right streams. What's up, Soap? What's up, Doc? Hey! Thanks for coming out. There's, I remember now, there's a guy who normally is, like, sitting in a chair up here. Usually, one shot, kill. Alright, I see you. Okay, before we get too crazy. Huh? How did you detect us? We're supposed to be silent. I don't get it. Why are you coming this way? Why are you coming this way? You can stop that. Nothing, we're supposed to be silent. We're wearing the Nightingale boots, right? Muffled and move silently. It kicks no one. <laughs> that, that's, that's what we did. We'll just tap. Little tippy tap, tap a room. Oh. Let him. Oh, it. Oh, it's becoming daytime, isn't it? Oh, what time is it? Five twenty-nine. Okay. I guess I was just hearing things. I'm gonna caps lock it for maximum walking. Should have known she was Who are you talking to? Said she'd wait for me, but they never wait. I don't think this will be a straight up kill. Oh, I forgot about that. That's like something I would say. Die already so I can take your stuff. Can you come up here? I can't. And then he's got a friend. Okay. Nope. Grab that level. Uh, health. 
I think will be good. Keep bumping our one-handed. Get an extra charge back to our magic. Oh, that's alerted like everybody. Bandit Chief's probably too powerful. Yep. I could just run through this. That is an option. Because I just run over, run over, do the drop down. Oh. Well, that makes things a little easier. Not to drop down or run up. <laughs> Dwarven gondols. Sure. Why not? Yeah, Fury is what does that. Which. And we. Pretty sure we learned it. It's just we everything we ran into was resisting it. But let's see. Nope, we just know Calm and Muffle. That's, yeah, because we couldn't get Fury. Keep that sneak going. Yep. Okay. And we're good. We'll have all the bodies we can loot. Chests. Excuse me. Oh. So close. Gotta tease it. Tease it. I gotta tease it. Traps one shot and master. Um, I'd like to not find out, but who knows? And oh, and master, as uh, some of them do. On legendary, I'm not sure yet, but probably. Namely, my uh, oh so favorite pendulum ones. Is this a tutorial? <laughs> I mean, it could be. If you want to learn something. And if I know about it, I might be able to do some teaching. Oh. Okay, so the left. Bush. Okay. That's valuable enough. Stamina damage, valuable enough, yes. I'm gonna leave the Dwimmer stuff for now. No lock picking is way easier with headphones. I actually don't go based on the sound. I, I'd go based on the visuals. Ooh, a master one, okay. Here's this place, I remember playing it right now. Nice. Very close. Bush. That's it. Okay, I have a saber cap. We'll eat that. Everything else, yeah, now I gotta just remember. 
forgot a lot of stuff about it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, you know, basically played it for 10 years. Off and on, of course, but... And then I haven't played it since that last series, and there are some things that I know just immediately left my mind. Yeah, now we gotta worry about, oh, the spheres, oh. oh this is gonna not be fun. Let's just be sneaky. Yeah, so there's the one that'll be around here. Yep. So, let's see if we can lure it away. We need to. Probably will. Hmm. <laughs> Go together like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think that. Bit of a rest. All right. Get that one to wake up a bit. Oh, he's. I can get them to group together. I can lure them around together. There's a third one. Okay. Now I got all the fire. Okay. I'm going to do some saves as we go along. Because each one of these parts could be interesting. Careful. Now we can come up over here. And then, careful, careful, careful. And right there. Ah. I was getting ready. I, I did that little flick because I'm like, oh, we got, got to move. Got to move. Okay. I was getting ready to try to move away. Crouched. So, I'm so used to having the rolling. Core. Lightweight. Take a potion, because why not? Ingredients, of course. Carrying capacity. Eh, I've heard that's good for me. Alright, a little alchemy. Where'd you get that 
noise you make from, as in boosh? That noise? If that's the noise you're asking about, um, it was, yeah. Uh, so it was kind of a, like I remember hearing boosh as a kid, but didn't re it wasn't like a thing. It was just, I remember hearing it at some point. But then um, I started watching early on Achievement Hunter videos and they would say boosh a lot. But like, boosh, they would be screaming it. <laughs> so that's where I actually like really got it from. Like where it stuck in my mind. But I added the little boosh, you know, add a little, a little zest. Bit of that. Just make some poisons, cause why not? <laughs> wow, always wondered. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I was a huge early on achievement hunter fan. Big like oh. Back in the day. Gonna go ahead and knock out whatever uh, bit we can here. Take that. Okay. Stock up. There we go. All right. Grand Cavern. There's this one that's up there. That's where we just came from. Okay, let's get our bearings. Let's get our bearings. Mm. All right. Mercer's been here. I hope we aren't too late. We should be okay. So those bandits back there. Brynjolf and I found them like that. Mercer's doing. We have to catch up to him before it's too late. Well, I'm ready. Well, let's go. We should tread carefully. I wouldn't be surprised if he's left behind a few surprises for us. <laughs> yep, so surprise number one. Oh, now, of course, I've got to try the thing I always try. Black Briar Reserve, that's valuable. Oh. Lock picks, also valuable. All right. So Mercer will be showing up over here. Sh oh. Excuse me, shortly. <laughs> we always gotta try the rainbow shot. Come on. What's happened? What's that? It's Mercer. Look, down there. There he is. I'm on it, lass. Oh, that was. Yeah, that's definitely not going there. Damn it. There's no way through. He's toying hmm. with us. He wants us to follow. I remember there was one time I got really close to him. Let's keep moving. Like one time. But I could sit here and try that all day, but I don't think you can actually hit him. <laughs> okay. Let's keep it going. Oh, that's not E at all. That was F. Harvest the ingredients. 
eat the ingredients. Seen anything like it in your life? The whole running through thing. Can't say that I have. Imagine that they're gonna screw up our sneakiness, else. most likely. Most likely. What you got? What you got? Lingerings, frostbites, regular poison. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, goodness. Ed. Hold on a second. You just hit the auto mod for two things. Thought, I always I'll do that. Some dirty joke or whatever I had discovered. Get strange looks? Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll allow that so everyone can see it. The, the term <laughs> that was deemed inappropriate was lewd. Really? Lewd is what you describe, use to describe things that the auto mod, sh you know, in theory should be blocking. But they're blocking the descriptor. I don't get it. Thank you, auto mod. But, so years ago, I heard you do the, oh yeah, thinged something implying a lewd thought. Yes. <laughs> and then you caught yourself doing that dirty joke or whatever, and you discovered you got some strange looks. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's something that I don't just reserve for the gaming. That is an IRL. I will definitely do that. All right, get a bit of this lock. Or not. <laughs> All right, so yeah, right about here. Oh. Okay, up here. Straight up? No. Okay, so it's gotta be right here then. A push. Yeah, so we should be okay right here. This, that, that. Oh, I didn't really want to do that right now. We should be okay. Stamina manage. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Yeah. Oh! Goodness. That stuck up on me. Just a little bit there. I'm gonna just pop a few of these. What did I hit? Sheesh, Palmer, tough. All right, let's look here. Oh, I didn't favorite it. Mm. I was gonna see if we could throw down a little bit of uh, this and this. Whoa, came after me. Lure him back to the friends. See the aggro? There we go. Shield up. Wait for it. There we go. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, Automod thought you were being lewd. Exactly. Hey, we hit the paralysis. <laughs> we'll take those. Uh, yeah. Now, let's use the bit of this. See if we can maybe catch somebody right behind there. Probably not going to hit anything, but... 
worth a look. Hmm. And there is the other trap. Uh, da -da -da. Don't remember the thing. Dungeon is extremely cool. Yeah, it most certainly is. I will concur with that one. Well, that's a thing. If I can get a bit better high ground here. There we go. Oh, well, I think it will let us pass that. That's fine. They're just down there. Okay. And we hit Brynjolf. Resist all the things. There we go. Yeah, these blades are what I want to come up. Where is that? It's back up this way somewhere. Take a little look. Uh, yes, yes. No kids. I thought they just thought automatically popped up. Hmm. I mean, in theory, I could just sneak past this guy, get down there. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, just in case. I do anything stupid. Okay. They'll do a bit of fighting. Watch for traps, of course. Oh yeah, then this whole part. Oh, this is gonna be rough. I know we can come back up top this way, and there's some stuff up there, usually. Just ingredients, okay. All right. They've made it through, good for them. Sneak is up. Nice. I'll take it. They're, of course, going to draw some people over. Now, normally, I have to say this because we may not do it. Normally, I go this way and then up right up there. That particular warlock Palmer is going to be a huge issue, is what I am thinking. So what can we do? Because if we try to fight them, I mean, it's just going to be forever. And if they all get aggroed, then that's just toast. I mean, obviously I could go forward and just try to run right through. That is an option. But I think we need to be a bit sneaky with it. Alright, so I say let's do this. Parkour. Parkour. Ooh. All right. Mm. There we 
we go. Yeah, you're gonna be the pain. Guess I need to get right there. Alright. <laughs> yep, yep, this is good. Oh, why are you sitting there? Go that way. There you go. There you go. Bye. <laughs> yep. Okay. Saving. And then, of course, we get the... Uh, Detect life and the uh, it? I forget what it says. Something obviously Mercer. Something. <laughs> That's okay. Empty chests. Just a few little pieces of gold. Torch Shadow. Hmm. Detect life, because the game's telling you, hey, he's going to be invisible. You may not be able to see him. All right. How about a bit of food? Nah. But we will take those septums. Of course. Are compadres, or uh, you know, a little bit further back, but that's okay. I think we should be able to sneak this. All right, let's think on it. A centurion. These can burst. Obviously, normally go up and around and all this. That's typically the way. Okay. Just right up the middle. So far, so good. Let's save. Yeah, I need to go up because there's no way up. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Gotta remember a thing or two. Oh. Saw nothing. <laughs> Watch out for that. Shadows moving. Was that our... Nope, never mind, just a Falmer. Okay. I'm fairly certain that Carlyer Brynjolf will catch up to us once we hit, like, a certain point here in a little bit. Just make their lives a little easier in case they do anything dumb. of you. Okay. This is the point. Careful. Caring too much. Come on now. I'm not dropping that.
Why are you sitting there? Go away. Back to your back to your tent. Take your friend with you. Basically wait for him to come up, because he should come up before him. Yep. Okay. Now the pins. This is awesome. Hey, guys. <laughs> This place reeks of foul mm -hmm. This must be their hive. We'll have to keep silent if we want to avoid drawing their attention. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to remember if there's actually a way this way. these shenanigans you can hit that and obviously uh, it's torch one spinning fire and stuff that comes up but that, or no it's spinning blade actually let's see how it works on them nope 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 come back oh I thought it lopped off one of their heads But it just sent like a body part or something flying. Maybe some bloody rags. Even a farmer don't deserve the pain these implements must have inflicted. The dwarves were a cruel race. Landed right in the middle. We watch for this little pressure plate. And all of these. And of course they run into the bone chimes. Oh, why why that's empty. Whatever you want to do, we're with you. Saving. Because this part is just a pain. Because I gotta do some jumping over some pins. Just keep it cool. Going, keep it going, keep it going. All right, now this little jump could be a bit tricky. Okay, and then another jump into the pen. We just got to get up just a smidge. Yep. Okay. Then all the charis, which is just the greatest thing to deal with in this game. All right. A little save. Now. I thought... Uh, uh, no, not jumping up here. Gotcha. That's a little later. A bush! Leveling. Give me that health. One handed, how are we looking? Power attacks with one handed weapons cost 25% less stamina. Mm. No thanks. Actually. Yeah, light armor rating by 40%. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's get some defense. Just in case this fight goes horribly. All right, now here's where we get on the pipes. My thoughts on Oblivion? Um, I have I haven't played through the whole thing by any means. I have compared to Skyrim, no experience. I mean, I have a little bit, um, but I have not played it enough. Um, however, the bit that I have played and the things that I do remember from way back when I really enjoyed alright so go right through here yes should be the plan 
But that char is right there. It's a bit of an issue. So let's see what he does. Worst case, I'll lure him back that way. But Falmer just went over this way. Gotta wait for him to come back before we can do this little move. Jump down around here, and then go right past. And then, there's these two. Okay, save real quick. Kinda come right up the middle. Then, drop down. We should be good. Yep. Ooh, a master. Let's get it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Push. Dwarven bow. Gold. Lock picks. Ah, not much. Get in there. Slowly but surely. What time is it? Oh, goodness. It's actually a lot later than I thought it was. Okay. Let's see. Favorite those. We've got invisibility ready. Got our paralysis, I believe, health. Yep. Yeah. All right. He's here, and he hasn't seen us yet. Brynjolf, watch the door. I lost. Nothing's get by me. Climb down that ledge. See if you can. Carlia, when will you learn you can't get the drop on me? Oh, speaking of drop. When Brynjolf brought you before me, I could feel a sudden shift in the wind. And at that moment, I knew it would end with one of us at the end of a blade. Give me the key, Mercer. What's Carlia been filling your head with? Tales of thieves with honor, oaths ripe with falsehoods and broken promises. Nocturnal doesn't care about you, the key, or anything having to do with the guild. Uh. To blaze, Nocturnal. Here for those eyes. Wait a moment. Do I detect a hint of genuine avarice from this noble thief? Perhaps Carlia and Brynjolf misjudged you, and your true nature is no different than my own. Different, so I still have honor. <laughs> it's clear you'll never see the skeleton key as I do, as an instrument of limitless wealth. Instead, you've chosen to fall over your own foolish code. If anyone falls, it'll be you. We'll see, it. see about that. Then the die is cast, and once again, my blade will taste Nightingale Black. Right. Okay. So. I'll deal with this. you after I rid myself of your irksome companion. All right. Yes, and yes, actually. Here we go. Yes, indeed, here we go. All right. Okay. What's happening? I can't stop myself. Damn you, Mercer. Fight it, Bruno. He's taken control of you. I'm sorry, Oz. I, I can't have to hide. Where 
is a somewhere here. Oh, ran off. It's kind of hard to see him with that old shaky. There he is. Trying to see if I can get him to attack a bit. There he is. Hmm. Ah, missed that a bit. Oh, he's too powerful for fear. here. Where'd he go? I'm gonna save, actually. Middle of the fight, just in case. There he is. What do you mean, can't hide from me? You're the one hiding. So tough. Goodness. charge it. Oh, he got he got me before I could hit the inventory. Oh. All right, let's keep going. Watch vid on everything, trying to download Sky UI. But it doesn't pop up on downloads of Mod Organizer. What do you think Think of that might be doing wrong? Uh, Khalid, I have no shouts. Actually, none. No shouts. So, download Sky UI. So, did you choose... Well, let's start with this. So, in Mod Organizer, uh, in the settings, did you... Are you downloading it from uh, Nexus Mods? Well, let's just start basics. Are you doing that? I'm gonna get back to the fight, but, uh, sir, besticles. 
can uh, answer that. Yes, okay. Uh, so, in the Nexus Mod Manager settings, there is an option. Uh, it, it's a tab that when you go into the settings, it just says Nexus. You have to make sure you're signed in on that and that you associate the NXM files or links with your Nexus account. Uh, you have to make sure those are done. So that way, when you go into the Nexus website, it downloads it into the Mod Manager. Yeah, don't interrupt game. Thanks for the help. Oh, of course, of course. Let's see, do I have any goodies? Increase stamina, because the archery ring isn't gonna really do anything for us currently. I mean, we could pop, get him with some distance. There he is. There he goes. Ah, ugh. Yet again before I could do it, ugh. Okay. Reload that. All right, let's get this charged back up again. A bit of this. A bit of that. That was effectively a one-shot there, goodness. Let me see, is it F? Oh, wrong thing. Sorry. <laughs> I know there's like a quick load button. I think it's F6. Uh, fixed it. Oh, excellent. Glad to help. All right, let me see, if I do this, I thought F6 might have been the quick load. But that's right. Hard fight, yeah. Especially considering we're a bit under leveled for this. Where'd he go? Oh. Oh, he's quick. He's sneaky. Get some distance. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yeah, so it's the children is not procking. I one thing I've noticed. So let's see what if anything we can do with the bow. Where's my uh, Missing something. Oh, Falmer bow. Not fishing rod. No, no, no. We're not fighting him with fishing rod. Fortify my health. Oh, is he stuck? Nope. Okay. Like looking away from us. And the shaking is not helping. There he 
is. Okay, so somewhere up here. Not hitting any shot, which is awesome. Oh. And the shaking, the shaking. Maybe get a sneak attack on him. Just puts away the blades. I guess he's gone. That hit him. Grab a little save. Eh. Gotta watch that arrow count. Should be coming back up here. Our arrow bounced off. Come on, buddy. There you are. He's going to get him there, but... Saving. Pick up an arrow or two in the water here.
Come on. Ah. Oh, there's the Skyrim sidestep we all know and love. Bit of shakiness, saving. Where did you, oh, you went all the way over there. Hmm. Ah. Ooh, careful. I thought he was going to move. Uh. Skyrim sidestep. Uh. It's like our arrows are not really doing much. There we go. All right, now we got steel. Well, why, why did I just lob it? We healed. Come on. Ah. Uh. Catch him on that. Come on, come on. I just got to drop off 10 worth on the weight. I'll drop off the strut. Sure. Yeah, sad you couldn't get a paralyze. Makes things much harder. Yeah, I mean, we got the one with the the poison, but we just didn't get the one or the two or the three or the four. However many times we hit him. We have to find another way okay. out of here before the place fills with water. Whew. Goodness. I haven't had a really tough Mercer fight like that in so long. Legendary. Not playing around at lower levels. <laughs> Come on, rocks. You know you want to fall. I believe in you. Make sure there's not any, like, above us. I think we should be okay. Need the Razor quest, yeah. <laughs> Mayrune's Razor and the Blade of Woe. That's some stuff we need. Spam save load. <laughs> yeah. Go. 
Come on, water. There we go. Hey, okay, we I think we gotta talk first. Like a Brynjolf was just literally walking on water there. This place is coming down. Oh, no, we gotta get out of here first. Never mind. Now we gotta talk. I can't believe it's over. Twenty-five <laughs> years in exile. Just, I mean, we breathe underwater, it's so. Done. All that <laughs> remains is to ensure the safe These return of the skeleton. Humans and elves. All right. Sounds like it'll be a simple task. I'm afraid it's not that simple. When the skeleton key was stolen from the Twilight Sepulchre, our access to the yeah, getting out of there could be a little tricky. <laughs> the only way to bring That's for sure. Will be through the Pilgrim's Path. Well, I take it you never used Pilgrim's Path. It wasn't created for the Nightingales. It was created to test those who wish to serve Nocturnal in other ways. As a consequence, I have no knowledge of what you'll be facing. Well, we best get started. Brynjolf is needed back at the Thieves' Guild to keep order while you're away. And I... I can't bear to face Nocturnal after my failure to protect the key. I'm afraid you'll have to face the end of your journey alone. Don't worry, I'll return the key. Take this with you. I'm not certain if it will help within the walls of the Sepulchre, but I certainly don't need it as much as you. I've had this bow almost my entire life, and it's never let ah, me down. One of my favorites. If not, probably my that. actual favorite. Just bow that's not enchanted and, you know, buffed all the hell. Just a just bow that you can get. Probably my favorite. Okay. So, we have to get to the Twilight Sepulchre. But we're not doing that today. <laughs> it is... Sorry, lad. I've got important things yeah. to do. It is uh, late for me. I gotta get up in the morning. Do some work. I mean, I don't have to drive anywhere since I work from home. But still, the point remains. What is this? Why are you all red? Did they actually add a point for dynamo cores? Huh. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Okay. Saving. Saving again. New save, please. Let's get out of here. Let's quit. Back to the desktop. Zephyr was my... Zephyr's a great bow. That, I believe... That's the fastest draw speed in the game, I believe. Don't quote me. But that'll do it for tonight. We'll be doing this again possibly throughout the week, but pretty much a guarantee on either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, or all three. So before I go, of course, everyone, thank you for coming out. Hope you all have a good evening. And as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. See you guys later.